Hey Virgo, welcome to Alexander Tarot. This is going to be a reading to see what messages the divine currently has for you in love. This reading is going to be for Virgo and for those who have Virgo anywhere in their chart. That's my car flipped around, it's kind of crazy. Cross watches you are welcome here. And keep in mind that the roles may be reversed. You may flip the messages as needed if necessary. Never force reading. I can't stress it enough because I still have some people once in a while in the comments saying things like, um, it's not their situation. Most people, it resonates, obviously. But you're always going to have that small percentage of somebody saying something of the opposite. I'm like, it's not for everyone. This is a collective reading. If it's not yours, don't force it. Just check out my next reading, okay? If the reading does resonate, please be sure to press that like button. It lets me know you want to see more of these readings. And it also helps me to circulate these videos to others, okay? So we're going to start by pulling... The mutual energy between you and your person, okay? Show me the mutual energy between your Virgo and their person, please. Five of Wands is your mutual energy currently. Show me the show me Virgo situation in love. There's a concern here, okay, that I have between you and your person. The person you're connecting with, I feel like you both are concerned about drama, conflicts. Um, I feel like more so the energy of reoccurring drama, something from the past. Like, I feel like both of you have your guards up and are defensive because the concern is tension and arguments, okay? So that's why that's your mutual energy. Um, I feel like in the recent past, someone apologized to you. There was a message that came in. They might have showed up where you live or they might have messaged you or called you. I feel like it was a happy surprise, though, from this person, this apology. I feel like this is someone that you you really were, like, very much attracted to. Like, like this is like a like crushing on the person. You know, sometimes some people connect with someone and they are attracted or love the person for who they are but i feel like there's like a really strong physical attraction to this person um i feel like your person confessed about something or they wanted to you know come clean about something they, they wanted to own up to something that they did and apologize and um i feel like you know you guys both decided to take a leap of faith again and um close out the cycle that was happening between you guys and just you know just come together and start a new cycle together i feel like there's a lot of fulfillment here that you're feeling now but there's also some worries i have the page of cups the fool the seven of swords reverse in the world you could be connecting with an aquarius or a capricorn but it could be any sign but i feel like there's this energy here with this five of wands Concern. Two of Wands. Some of you are just wondering if you made the right decision with the Two of Wands. Like, am I making the right decision to stay with this person or move forward? Like, is this person going to disappoint me again? I feel like that's your energy, Virgo, and that's why you're here at this reading. You just decided, like, do we make the right decision about this? I feel like, you know, there's some planning going on here. And you're trying to make, trying to weigh out your options. You could be making plans with your person. Um, Oh, my God, the Ace of Cups. There's a lot of love here between you and your person. A lot of love. I feel like whatever you two went through in the past, it, it, it got you to a point where you got more connected with your spirituality you or your person 
and you went through some sort of emotional awakening, you and your person, there's a lot of happiness and a lot of love that you and your person have. I got the judgment in reverse, Libra energy. But there's a there what's what's crowning you is this judgment reverse. I'm wondering if your person really learned their lesson. Is this a karmic lesson? Like, you know, am I making the right decision being with this person? There's a lot of self doubt that you have here. I also feel like your person might have um, blamed you for things unfairly. Like, I'm getting false accusations. Show me the breakdown in this connection, please. So you're wondering, as much as you love this person, and you guys appear to be happy now, there's this concern. You're both a little guarded with this five of wands. Like, is there going to be more drama? Trying to like It's like proceeding with caution with your person. And just wondering if you made the right decision to stay. To continue on with this person. Show me the breakdown. There was a tower moment in this in this connection. Something traumatic took place that broke you too, okay? And it had to because the foundation just wasn't stable. So if something keeps reoccurring and it's, it is negative and it's toxic, it has to be destroyed because you can't build anything stable on something that's shaky, that's not solid. So this had to happen for you guys. It was painful. Your person might have even abandoned you. For some of you, I'm getting abandonment. Um, some of you even considered divorce. If you were married, that's how painful it was. But, you know, someone got mental clarity. I feel like it was your person and decided to communicate. It was some sort of breakthrough with this because I got the Ace of Swords, the Tower, the Four of Cups reversed, and the Page of Pentacles. Um, you may be connected with an Aries, but I just feel like you guys got the clarity that you needed to see and the breakthrough that you needed to see. And you realize that you two love each other. You realize there's a lot of love here and you chose happiness. You decided that you want to let go of the regret. This person apologized. They gave you the clarity they need when they owned up to what they did. See how this four of cups reverse is under this seven of swords reverse. This person gave you clarity wherever they came clean with and they, they wanted to own up to what they did. So for some of you, you, you know, this person got caught. I'm not, I'm not saying that this is cheating. Forgive me guys for the outside noise. I don't know what's going on today. Just give me a moment, please. That's crazy. I'm waiting for that to pass and it's not passing. Wow, I feel like I'm in a movie, y'all. That is not passing. All right, so forgive me, guys, because I needed to focus and I want you guys to focus. That is insane, what just happened, whatever's happening outside. I'm typically, I live in a typically quiet suburban neighborhood, so I don't know what just happened. But anyway, um, your person gave you the clarity that you needed, okay, when they came clean with you as far as whatever it is they did. It's not necessarily someone cheated. You guys know what happened. It could be something, someone else. It could be something that they did, but something that, you know, you feel betrayed by that they, that you wasn't aware of. But, you know, this person got caught. So whatever it was came to the surface. And, um, but you decided, you know, this person apologized. They owned up to it. And you decided to take a leap of faith. And you're like, I just want to let go of the past and just be happy with my person. Okay? Um... With the Page of Pentacles, I see that there's an effort here because um, 
this person took i'm sorry this person made an effort after this tower moment because this is we're doing the breakdown you know for those of you who got distracted by that outside noise let's 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 bring it back here you got you decided to have a a, a new beginning with your person they came through they communicated with you okay they might have sent a message i said this before okay because there was a breakdown in this connection something happened something devastating but you guys decided to choose happiness and communicate with each other um and just you know just plan just plan on laying down the foundation of this relationship this connection and just you know make a have a plan with each other i feel like it's small for now but it's you know don't please don't be um what's the word i'm looking for Just don't feel bad that it's a small plan because don't be discouraged. That's what I'm looking for. Do not be discouraged by this page of pentacles because you you know, sometimes you have to do things a little bit at a time and it's more reliable that way. Like, you know, build up to it. You know, this person has to earn your trust all over again. So, but this is reliable, dependable energy and it's consistency. Okay, it's just that this person didn't want to come in and love bomb you with a bunch of shit that's unbelievable. So just understand that this is reliable energy. Okay, so yes, there was something that happened and it was very traumatic and you guys decided that you wanted to heal from it. Okay, so spirit, please show me Leo, Leo, Virgo. you may be connected with a Leo. Show me Virgo's person's current feelings for them <laughs> i didn't even get it out and already i got the six of pentacles which is awesome there's a lot of pentacles here by the way you could be connecting with a taurus or um another virgo or capricorn that could be your energy as well virgo please show me virgo's person's current feelings for virgo I have the six of pentacles, the three of pentacles, and the seven of wands. This person is definitely trying to protect this connection, and they're trying to resist any arguments um, with the seven of wands. And I get that, you know, there's still some conflict here. Everything is not, you know, peaches and creams. You know, there's still challenges when you decide that you want to give another person a, a chance in a relationship, and there are things that you're going to revisit. That's just what it is. But this person is like um, resisting um, any arguments. That's why this five of wands is here. And they see you that way. They see you as somebody that stands up for what you believe in. And um, you challenge this person. They loved how you challenged them. You try, you bring out the best in them. Um, and you don't play. Like you're determined to make this work, but you're resisting the drama. That's what they see you as. And they just also see you as someone who's very generous and um, they want to reciprocate the same energy with you with the Six of Pentacles. They want to give you what they give, what you give them. They want to show up for you. This person is showing up for you and they are with this Three of Pentacles. They're coming together and they're working with you and they're learning about themselves and they're committing to this connection. They're trying to align their values with you. Okay. Spirit, please show me. This is awesome that this person sees you as somebody that they can learn from. I love it here. They're learning from you. Spirit, please show me Virgo's current feelings for their person, please. This person can feel, though, that you have, you're a little guarded with the Seven of Wands, though. They do feel that from you. And that's why your mutual energy is the Five of Wands, because they're a little guarded, too. It's just like you, you two both don't want to hurt each other. You're like, y'all in a glass house and y'all don't want to throw stones, you know? Show me Virgo's feelings for their person, please, Carmen. Wow, this is what I wasn't expecting this. I got the Hierophant, the High Priestess, Reverse, and the Devil. You could be connecting with a, a Taurus or a Capricorn. It could be any sign, though. 
But however, what I feel now, your feelings is like you want this commitment with your person. You want these shared values, okay? You want your person to have the same beliefs and ethics as you. And you haven't given up on that. But at the same time, you feel like your person is a little, their feelings are a little repressed. Like you feel like there's still some toxic behavior here. That you you feel like your person still has the toxic behavior. They haven't eliminated all. Um, and you feel like they could be selfish at times. And that there are still misunderstandings happening between you two because of this person's selfishness. So there's still some challenges here. But at the same time, you still haven't given up. You want commitment with this person. Okay, show me more for Virgo's feelings for that person. Justice. You can be connected with a Libra, Libra energy. Um, you just feel like that, you know, things happen in this connection. There's consequences for everything. And you guys are experiencing that now. Your person is experiencing their karmic justice for whatever decisions they made. So there's this understanding with you, Virgo, that you feel like, okay, even though we have this new beginning, we're not exactly what we were. We still have these challenges. There's a cause and effect to everything. And what you did still affected me. Um, yes, I love you. Yes, I want this to work. Yes, I've agreed to this new decision, but there's still a lot of healing that needs to take place. There's still balance that needs to be brought into this connection. And you don't feel like the balance is there yet. All right, so Spirit, please show me the challenges for Virgo. You're very emotionally mature, Virgo. I love this about you. That's why this person is like, I can learn from Virgo. They love that about you. They are learning from you. Show me... The challenges, please, for Virgo. I got the Eight of Pentacles reverse and the Eight of Wands. Your challenges is, is, is you want balance in this connection, and I said that with the justice. There's a need for balance between you and your person, and you're not feeling that right now, and. Which is what I'm seeing here is the complete opposite. The Eight of Pentacles reversed and the Eight of Wands. You could be seeing eights. Okay, eight may be significant to you. But um, you just feel like there's a lack of effort still from your person. And you want your person to take action. And the need, the challenge is to see your person, to believe your person can take the action that's required to bring you two back into balance. Okay, when you forgive somebody, it's not, you don't just forget everything that happened. You know, it's like there's a, forgiveness follows. When you forgive somebody, actually forgiving them follows. You're learning still to forgive them. It's not like I forgive you, it's all over. No, it's just like the healing process begins. And now you have to see what it is that you're forgiving. Okay, so it's like you, you're like, you, you, you have challenges to to believe your person is going to take action, communicate effectively, communicate, continue to communicate effectively with you now. Like, is it just an apology? And then this is just going to just, you know, fall, you know, fall off the side of the road. Like, or are you going to continue to build? Because the thing is with relationships, you have to work on it every day. It requires effort. So your challenge is to believe that your person can put in the effort to bring this connection back into balance, to get things moving again. So you wanna see progress from them. You want more communication. You wanna feel excited more. You wanna feel like the, the kind of love that you felt for this person when you got together. I'm hearing infatuation. You wanna connect with them emotionally the way you used to. Yes, you love this person. That's make no, there's no question. That's why you agreed to this. But at the same time, you're like, okay, is this person going to disappoint me again? And your challenge is to believe that this person is going to make an effort and things are going to be back into balance. Okay, you're going to see action and progress. Okay, Spirit, please show me advice for Virgo, please.
I'm hearing one-sidedness. Okay, yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of of pain that you're still healing from in regards to this person. That's why I say when you decide to forgive somebody, you know, love is not logical, it's emotional. And I feel like you forgave this person because you love this person. And you know this person does love you, but there's still a lot of work to be done. Like love doesn't fix everything. The vice that I have is the Emperor Reverse, the Lovers Reverse, and the Five of Cups. You can be connected with a Gemini or an Aries. Again, any sign. But there's a lot of healing that's required. And I feel this emotional instability still between you and your person. And the concern that you have with this with this Emperor Reverse of your person being inflexible. You know, not willing to come together to make things work the way in a way that you need to heal this connection um your person might even be um might have a i'm hearing absentee father perhaps their father wasn't in their life and that affects how they you know how they deal with things i'm getting like childhood trauma and um your concern again with this lovers reverse is just being one-sided like you're pouring in to this person but this person's not doing what they want to do and next thing you know they're unreliable and there's a detachment again. We break up. Okay. I need to pull more cards because I asked for advice and all I'm getting is your feelings. Show me advice, please. Show me advice for Virgo. Excuse me. That, that flew out. I got to get that card. <sighs> wow. This is an intense reading, Virgo. I didn't realize it was going to be this intense. I feel like you and your person have been together a long time and you've been through a lot. Um, I have the nine of wands, the death and the hangman for advice. Um, I just feel like right now you're just contemplating the next move. Like you, again, you agree to this new beginning, but you still feel kind of stuck. There's a stuck energy because you're waiting for this person to to show you that things really have changed. You want you want to see consistency. You want to see results. Um, Spirit is saying, just remain resilient. Like, keep pushing through. You know, yes, you're wounded. Yes, you're drained. And this has been an ongoing battle. But you are brave, Virgo. You are strong. And it's going to require that resilience for you to keep pushing through because you there is a transformation here with this death card okay you, you two are going through a change there is a cycle that needs to close out and you're transitioning it into a new cycle so spirit is saying don't give up now just keep pushing don't sit still don't give up just allow this to happen okay it's going to happen in divine timing there's, there's a need for you to get out of this worry because the stress and the worry that you are feeling it, it paralyzes you with fear it keeps you stuck and spirit wants you to get out of that stuck energy with this person all right so before i close out this reading i'm going to pull some lovers oracle messages it's just that the bottom line here virgo is that you don't want your person to hurt you again you don't want to feel hurt by them please understand that challenges and relationships never end never end but they're supposed to teach us and we're supposed to learn from it and grow from it, okay? And, but you have to allow this, you know, you have to have faith. You have to manifest what it is that you want. You have to believe that things will get better and then you have to, you have to put that out in the universe and do your part. Like thoughts become things, I say this all the times. So you have to change your thought process because you're holding on to things that spirit wants you to let go of. You, it's like you agreed to this at the beginning. So it's just like, okay, you agreed to it. You took a leap of faith with this fool. This person, you know, came clean and, you know, about what happened. And they apologized. And it's like you agreed to a new beginning. Now you have to give your person, give yourself grace and allow your person to show you that things are different. At least, you know, at the very least. There's a need for you both to get out of this guarded energy. Okay? Your person is like, I don't want to hurt Virgo. And you're like, I don't want my person to hurt me. And that's what it is right now. That's why you need to energy the five of wands. Show me the messages, please, for Virgo. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. Okay? So, um, you, you're thinking too much. Strategically, it's like you're trying to control something 
that you need to let go of control of, okay? Allow the universe to take over. And don't do not do anything because you feel guilty. Oh, you know, I'm, I don't want to disappoint. This, I don't want to disappoint everyone who's believed in this relationship. I don't want to let my family down. I don't want to let, let my child or children down. Just, you know, just get all that stress. Give yourself some grace and just allow this to transition, okay, and to heal. My beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. So for, for you guys, some of you, like, when I say physically apart, you may not, you may physically not be with this person under the same roof. Or for some of you, you may be under the same roof, but there's distance and space between you two. Because, yes, you agreed to, to make things work, but there's still this resistance, okay? Um... Your person's like, I've never been really separated from you. I love you. And no matter what, we're always together. There's a lot of love here that your person has for you. Wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. I just said that. Don't rush. There's no need for you to be anxious or rushing or, or you know, also stagnant. Just allow things to progress naturally. Trust, transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. Exactly. You have to trust that things will work out. Have faith, not hope, because hope is doubt. And you have to get rid of it, because a lot of energy that you're in right now is hope. You're hoping things work, and that's why it's not working. Eliminate hope. Hope is doubt. You have all these doubts. You have to trust. You have to have faith. You have to already see it working out. You have to feel it. You have to surround yourself in the light of the success of this relationship. And just have faith that your person is going to show up this time for you. And you guys are finally going to work out. All right? Surrender. At times, we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. <laughs> I have to read that again. At times, we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. You have to allow yourself to be vulnerable again. Okay, you have to let go, let go of all the old and just watch how things transform for you. This is so beautiful. I love this for you, Virgo. Those are the messages that I have for you for this reading. If it resonated again, please be sure to press that like button. Super important to me and all tower readers. I wish you healing. I wish you love and light and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye.